Is that fine? Yeah. <laughs> You're like, yeah. Oh my gosh. Is it too much? Is it too much? Metro News, Belgrade Art Show's show, unique tasting food, and a lot more. Welcome to this week's episode of BAA Bell Arts Attractions, your weekly guide to all of the fancy and arty stuff happening in Belgrade in the lovely language of English. I'm your host, Boyana, so let's get to the do's for you to do. Now, we all love Belgrade, but let's admit it, the traffic can be a bit annoying, right? But hold up, we've got something in the news this week that could sound very interesting. A French multinational company involved in the areas of infrastructure and transport systems, uh, called Aegis, has been commissioned to deliver the preliminary designs for Line 1, Phase 2 and Line 2 of the Metro system planned for Belgrade. Can you imagine? Contracts for both studies were signed in Belgrade at the beginning of August, so very recently. As well as the preliminary designs, the contracts commit Aegis to undertaking an environment and social impact assessment, very important working up technical specifications and writing a feasibility report over the coming 25 months. Please, please let it be feasible. Wouldn't we love that? According to the plans, Line 1 will run north to south for some 21 kilometers, linking 23 stations, mostly underground. I wonder what they'd all be. Line 2 runs east to west for 19 kilometers with 23 stations also underground. The beginning of the construction of the first line of the Belgrade Metro is planned for November this year and to be completed by 2028, while the second line could begin construction in 2023 and be completed in 2030. So hopefully during our lifetimes, it'd be great. So be on the lookout for the new underground Metro lines from 2028. We'll see you there. Welcome to our art events section where we will have today for you three, three things to tell you about. And I don't know if this gives you any clue, but listen up and it'll soon make sense. So first of all, we have Belgrade Art Show. Yes, our partner channel, our friend Belgrade Art Show is organizing another art week from Friday the 3rd of September until Friday the 10th of September at Ostavinska on Kraljevice Marka 8. This art week will showcase the story and the works of the Way in Subverter Music and Art Project. Now, this is a project that includes uh, eight original songs combined with an art exhibition that depict ideas found in each track. So almost like a visualization of each song. The use of masks in each picture symbolizes the unity of people of different races, nations and cultures under oppression and shows how they can transcend boundaries and subvert old social structures. His work aims to express the conflicting energies of bondage and liberation, darkness and light, oppression and subversion, so on and so forth. For more info, do check out the link below and check out the music and artworks starting this Friday, the 3rd of September. I'm definitely going to check that one out. Next up, we have on Saturday, the 4th of September. I'm trying to say September and it's just not coming. I'm still in August, September, September. So this Saturday, the 4th of September, the Roof Community Centre is organising a Bazaar of Prints. I love prints, woohoo! And all sorts of phenomenal pieces of art that can be bought and taken home at attractive prices. Now I'm thinking, they think they're talking about prints as in prints that you could put on your wall, maybe not prints that you wear on yourself. But no, no, the wall, Right is showing me it's on the wall. Oh, I like to wear them too, but okay, wall will have to do. Okay, do not miss this holiday for the ears the eyes and the soul. Uh, enrich your living space with the works of their hardworking masters. Entrance is free. 
and working hours are from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. It will take place, so this Saturday, the 4th of September, at Drushtani Center Krov at Kraljicim Marie 45. So well worth checking that one out. And last but not least, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Aha! We have something for you book lovers. You can stop by the 14th Book Festival at the Kulturni Center Grad where the September City Book Fair will be held. Now, in the past couple of years, due to the restrictions and everything, a lot of book fairs have been postponed and cancelled. So really, book lovers, this is your opportunity to go and get yourself a good deal. So this will be a gathering for book lovers, readers, publishing houses and their writers. Editions of old and new literary productions will be presented, which can be purchased at KC Grad at special fair reduced prices. Now, there are some good bargains out there. Uh, there'll be discounts for all visitors. Uh, the book fair will also gather writers and editors of domestic publishing houses who will sign their books at informal gatherings. So just all in all, a really, really great literary atmosphere. It is taking place this Sunday, the 5th of September at Kulturni Center Grad on Braci Krsmanovic 4 from 5 p.m. to 11 p.m. Now, entrance is free. We love a free entrance here, but books are not, but they're still at good prices. All right, check it out. Attention all plant-based friends, vegan lovers, vegans. Yes, we have a small business we'd like to highlight for you this week. We want to call your attention to Shanty Kitchen. I'm not always there when you call, but I'm... Oh, no, 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 not a Shanty. Shanty Kitchens, right? Which is a food delivery service that makes tasty homemade vegan meals. And I'm not vegan, but my mouth is starting to water. They have a variety of meals and different types of food from dessert to other courses. Now check out their Instagram at shantykitchen underscore BGD, which is Belgrade, to view their menu and place your order today. You must order a day in advance, okay? And they deliver on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m., so just in time for lunch. You can also give them a call at 063-360-361. So get your Megan, Megan, not your Megan, your vegan fill this week. Delicious. Now, sticking to the theme of food, but stepping away from veganism and into my carnivorous heart, we have the traditional fish fest happening this year at Neboishova Kola or Neboisha Tower, Tower in Kalamegdan Park. This festival will run from Thursday the 2nd of September up until Sunday the 5th and they're open all day from 10 to 10 p.m. So 10 to 10. There will be top Mediterranean fish delicacies as well as the inevitable fish soup and Sarajevo grilled specialties. The organizers have prepared an entertainment program for both the elderly and the young, and admission is free, with other prices that are affordable. So lots of uh, fish stew from the local rivers, and I don't know, maybe they're gonna have some other exotic things there. I've never been, and I'm really curious to go, so I'm looking forward to this one. If you love fish like I do, then this is the place to be. Now, if you're not such a fishy person, or you want something a little bit more more a little different then we have another thing for you in social gatherings if you're in the mood to boogie or at least experience the boogie-ness then why not dance the night away with boogie nights with white city soul there will be dancing to disco and boogie beats this friday the 3rd of september at kc grad on braccio kusmanovic 4 starting at 9 p.m a really nice modest starting time Entrance is 300 dinars, so get your boogie on this Friday night. Here are some interesting facts about random artists our writer came across. Now you'll have to excuse my pronunciation. I hope I get them right. Frédéric Bazil, the artist behind Portrait of Renoir, was born in Montpellier, Haute, Languedon, Roussillon, France, 
into a wealthy Protestant family. He became interested in painting after seeing some works of Eugène Delacroix. His family agreed to let him study painting, but only if he also studied medicine. Sandra Botticelli, the artist who created The Birth of Venus, real name was actually Alessandro di Mariano Divani Filippetti. He shorted it to Sandro and Botticelli was a nickname that meant Little Barrel. Hans Holbein the Younger, who created the portrait of Antoine, Prince of Lorraine, referred to himself as the Younger to distinguish himself from his father, who was also an accomplished painter and draftsman. Frank Duvernick was born in Covington, Kentucky to Bavarian immigrants, and he traveled to Munich in 1870 to pursue his art education. At that time, Munich was home to some of the most advanced artists in Europe, including Wilhelm Liebel, whose dark, unsentimental portraits impressed the young American, hence the style of Duvernick's The Whistling Boy. And with that, I'm afraid we must say adieu, as in goodbye for this week. We hope you liked the episode and we hope you like what we do. If you do, then please like this video, subscribe to us, and um, slap that bell, of course, to get notifications every week. We're usually out on Thursdays. Keep an eye out for us. And uh, if you like, comment below, who is your favorite artist or what is your favorite artwork? Our writer says hers is Andy Warhol and but maybe, she says, maybe the art for the movie Velvet Bustle is also amazing. Mine is, it's very difficult for me to pick anything because I'm a Libra and I just love everything and depends on my mood. But these days I'm really enjoying Jack Vetriano. He's a Scottish artist and he does paintings that are really, they're really emotive. They're really sort of, they've got a nostalgic feel. Anyway, you should definitely check him out. So I would love to hear who are your favorite artists and artworks. So please do comment below and I'll even reply if you do. <laughs> okay guys, it's been great hosting this week. Hope to see you next week. I've been Boyana, always so will be, always shall be Boyana. And yes, bye-bye. See you next week. Bye.